Shalom. All praise is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kwadash, double honors to the elect apostle, apostles, bishop, elders at Great Millstone, that we well. Shalom to the elect Akia, the Edmund Spring, the Seventy and Truth, and not for vain glory, in season out of season. Uh, it was said that Lahab used to be down with one west, you know, he's, he's a, uh, you know, he left, you know, one west. Now he's teaching some madness that uh, Israel, after a thousand years, Israel's gonna, gonna be put back in slavery under the so-called white man. After Israel rules after a thousand years, that's madness. Okay, so uh, I just wanna bring this out right quick. Israelites will never go back into slavery again. After the so-called white man is going down, he's never going to come back up again. Okay, so let's go through it right quick. Lamentations 4th chapter and the 22nd verse. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is the nation of Israel. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know what this guy's talking about. <clears throat> you know, um, you know, Lahab used to be uh, one of the top men back at One West. They were known as the top seven. But, uh, you know, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, bugged him out. So he's teaching a bunch of madness now. Okay. So for you to say that, and yeah, wow. Yeah, you're not really reading the scriptures then. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. So the punishment that right, rightfully so, which the nation of Israel committed, okay? Iniquity against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So it's, it's, right, it's rightfully so. You know, the nation of Israel, you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are being punished, man. We're being punished. Why? Because we broke the covenant, the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? For our iniquities. We, we're being punished for our iniquities, sin upon sin. Is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is the nation of Israel. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So we're never going to go into captivity again, man. Once Esau is brought down, the heathen nations are brought down, America is destroyed. Wiped off the face of the earth by the nuclear missiles and by Yahweh Shai and the angels shooting the chariots out, shooting the lasers out of the chariots. That's it. We're going to be ruling in the kingdom forever. For all eternity. Okay? We're not going into captivity anymore. It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. <laughs> oh yeah, Esau going to get it. I mean, Edom, which is Esau, which is the so-called white man. That's his biblical name. He going to be put into slavery and he's going to be completely, utterly destroyed. <laughs> so going to be no so-called white people around, man. After a thousand years of slavery. Uh, so let me get one more scripture. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 18. Hey man, basic scriptures, hey man, but it's gonna come to pass. Daniel 7 and 18. It says, But the saints, or Daniel 7 chapter, 18 verse. Okay. It says, But the saints, which are the Israelites, many scriptures to prove it who the saints are saints can't be every nation man saints can only be one people and that's the nation of israel which are your so-called negroes latinos and native americans but the saints of the most high yahweh shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever so um you know the kingdom is going to be taken by yahweh shai and the saints are going to rule with Yahweh Shai under him, join heirs. All right, 
the scriptures say a nation of kings and priests okay and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever so it's age after age after age okay no uninterrupted rule okay all right so uh just wanted to bring that out there hope you've been edified that's it israel <laughs> That's it. There ain't no more going to captivity again. Why? Because we all going to be righteous. We ain't going to sin no more, man. I'm talking about you so-called Nichols, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. With that, Shalom.